So Ubisoft announced the development of a new Assassin's Creed game, Assassin's Creed Infinity. And I could not be more excited as I am an Assassin's Creed fan. But, yes there is a but and the reason being, it will be a live service game. Hey what is happening guys, this is Orca from Orca's Gaming Corner and today we are gonna talk about the future of the Assassin's Creed franchise and especially the upcoming Assassin's Creed Infinity. Now of course I'm not saying that live service games are bad in general. There are a few good ones but they are far and few in number and so I'm not sure if the Assassin's Creed franchise should be heading in this direction. So let's sum up some of the important points. Number one being that if the Assassin's Creed turns out to be something like Anthem which is a good example of how Bioware a company that makes good narrative RPGs tried to make a live service game and failed miserably. So in the particular example Bioware is a company that has always been making great RPGs like Dragon Age series, the Mass Effect series and so on. So now we are in a similar situation because Assassin's Creed Infinity will be made by Ubisoft Quebec and Ubisoft Montreal which are great studios that have made some of the best Assassin's Creed games which are more or less open world RPGs with decent amount of story and a mix of a lot of other things to do. But the main point here is that story is still a very important factor in the Assassin's Creed genre and people go through all the hours of gameplay and quests just to know the storyline and just to know what happens in the game and how they are connected. Of course exploration and combat play a major role in open world games however if there is no good reason to explore then it becomes quite pointless to continue doing it. So the main problem here is that if it becomes a live service game then the main story, the narrative and the exploration will be much more watered down in quality. Just compare the Assassin's Creed games of before like Assassin's Creed, Assassin's Creed 2, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood and the newer games that have recently come out at least uh, from the ones after Assassin's Creed Origins, Odyssey and the latest one Assassin's Creed Valhalla. They already feel a bit watered down because of so many other events that Ubisoft has crammed in instead of the main story and some of the good side quests. Completing these games require a lot more time anywhere from 45 to 80 hours easily. Now if it then becomes a live service, imagine how much the grind will be there and how longer it will take for the same story. So this is one of the primary reasons. Another good example here is check out Elder Scrolls V Skyrim and compare that to ESO. Look at how Bethesda got away with almost 10 years without releasing any Elder Scrolls. And I think Elder Scrolls 6 is still not on the way, it's a long way back. So maybe after another 5 more years, so somewhere around 15 years later they will come up with the next iteration. Until then you can just play Elder Scrolls online. Which is not bad but then compared to the actual games it is like uh, definitely a watered down version or a very shallow version of the Elder Scrolls series. Now the second factor is just look at an example of Ubisoft's own live service games that are currently there. So one of the best examples is Division and Division 2 and they are okay. They could have been much more and much better but then they are just okay. It's like you play the first 20 hours and it feels really good and after that it becomes very monotonous and you do similar things all again and again. Uh, there is a grind for loot of course and then you do similar kinds of missions. It does not matter so much whether you have friends or not. It's not very engaging and look where it has led them. So I would not want Assassin's Creed to become like that. Now the third point is the multiplayer section. This is very important. So live service games in general have to have good multiplayer is what I feel because you cannot keep on creating single player content or at least you cannot keep on creating good single player content consistently at a rapid pace because of course uh, people will just keep on playing and every three or four months you will have to develop a DLC which is like almost impossible for most teams and if you do that and you are able to do it that means the content is crap. So in such a situation just to engage the crowd and appease the gamers you'll have to have a very good multiplayer section. Now if you have to have a very good multiplayer section this is 
where most companies hit or miss either you have a very good multiplayer section and they don't care so much about single player and people just keep on playing like i mean it doesn't matter whether they have seasons or not in fortnite people will keep on playing same with pubg and same with cold war zone so either it is like that or it is like division 2 or some of the other failed live service games like anthem where there is nothing to do and no one plays and then after the first one or two months the game is dead and finally the last problem that i see at the point is micro transactions of course if they are going to make a game that is live service and uh, as i have heard from here and there and from ubisoft themselves they are planning to make live service games for most of their franchises and they will be free to play so if it is going to be free to play it will have micro transactions without micro transactions the company cannot make any money so unless they are going to do paid live service like a monthly subscription or something like you buy the game and then you buy dlcs and then you keep buying dlcs or something like that there will be micro transactions so i'm not sure which route ubisoft is taking so if they make assassin's creed infinity free to play and then they will have a bunch of micro transactions which people might want to use and may be forced to use because the game has a level gating structure or something like that wherein at some point you will have to buy some micro transactions and there is no way out so it becomes much more like a mobile game or some of those cheap korean mmorpgs which i don't want the assassin's creed franchise to become or they can do it the proper way and have a paid service that is like you pay a monthly thing or something like that and the assassin's creed continues but then it is still a watered down version but it will be something like wow this is why i felt this video was necessary so these are some of the points that if done correctly would make assassin's creed infinity a fantastic game but usually you don't see that happen so there you have it folks assassin's creed infinity the upcoming assassin's creed game could be one of the greatest games that we've ever seen or could be a flop like anthem don't know whether ubisoft should be doing this or not but we'll see and i think there are two more years to go till we see actual concrete gameplay or any footage of the actual game so this is just an announcement so it'll take some time and hopefully they get it right and we have a fantastic assassin's creed game in our hands and that would be wonderful so for this video i would like to stop there and uh, like share and subscribe to my channel orcas game gaming corner and of course i have also tagged two of the reviews that i've done for some of the assassin's creed games i think assassin's creed origins and assassin's creed valhalla if you'd like to check them out and below i will actually paste a link of the article that ubisoft have themselves put in the blog post for more details so you can just go directly there and read which studio is doing what role i think ubisoft quebec is managing the entire thing with uh, help from ubisoft montreal and ubisoft uh, singapore or things like that it all sounds good but we'll have to see what happens ciao